Active Directory. And if you're like me and you're doing some pen testing on a system that's got Active Directory running, you typically use the same tools over and over again. Today I'm going to be going through some of my tools that I use uh, all the time. Let's do this. I always start off with Nmap. Why not use it? It's got so many wonderful scripts that are like packaged right into it. And when we get all that information, we can glean through it and get what we need. Okay, so I'm going to show you an Nmap script that I use when I'm working on machines that I know have Active Directory running on it. And as you can see that we're going to be actually leveraging all of the scripts that are available within Nmap to see what it comes back with. Now, remember, it might not come back with anything, and that's okay. So right away I can tell that we've got some interesting things going on. There's a lot of information, but I can tell that our our, our domain is going to be HTB. Uh, dot local and you might recognize this from hack the box and that's okay because this this is actually a really good machine that has that you can use a bunch of different tools on it to gather information uh, I'm not going to go through everything in this because there's there's quite a bit of uh, data but you should know that nmap can come back with some very interesting information the next tool is going to be a little bit surprising because it's a little bit older it's not supported anymore but the thing is that it actually can come back with some valuable information the tool is still useful and it comes back with information that is helpful, then why not use it? And that tool is Enum for Linux. For Enum for Linux, we are just going to blast our target machine. Now, I am actually working on a Windows machine, and part of the reason we can do that, we haven't done an OS scan, but I can see by the time to live that it's coming back with 127, which is telling me that it's a Windows operating system. Uh, but I'm also going to be using a Enum for Linux, which is kind of confusing because it's Linux is in the name, and that's okay, like I said before. So let's go ahead and fire this off at our target machine here. So this tool, a number for Linux, has returned some very informa good information. So right at the bottom, like I'm not even gonna go through everything that was found because that would take too long, but I was able to gather all of these different users that are on this machine, which is awesome. Our next tool is LDAP Search. It's pretty straightforward, but there are some things that we can add to the string in our terminal that can just give us so much information. So let's go ahead. And here's our simple command. We're going to be doing a, a null search just to say, can we connect to this Active Directory and not have any authentication? Like, I want to know what's in there, but I don't want it to tell you who I am. And this, this would do it for you. So right away we've got a simple execution. Our host is on this IP address. The dash D is what is the distinguished name? So who are you logging in as? And you can see we've got a uh, two quotes here that with nothing in it, so it's null. And then we've got the dash W, little W that is, and that would be where the password would be. And again, it's it's nothing, and there's just two quotes there, and so it's null. And then the dash B is what is the base? That we're searching from and we're going to fill in what we know from our nmap scan which is htb and we've got local so we're going to go ahead and hit enter on this and see what we get and it comes back with a ton of stuff just an astronomical amount of information and all of it is useful let's modify our string so that we can gather some information that is just a bit more streamlined because what i want to do here is actually I want to pull out all of the users. I want to enumerate through this Active Directory and grab those users. I've got one queued up for us. Our base that we have here, and we are going to be adding to it an uh, object class of person. I'm going to hit enter. Let's look at what that returns. So we can see right away that we've got a object class of a person. So Santi Rodriguez. Uh, we've got a Mark Brandt, he's a sysadmin. This still has a lot of information, so what, what we need to do now is actually modify our LDAP search just a little bit more. Here, I want to grab the Sam account name. Let's hit enter and see what it comes back with. Awesome. This is much cleaner than we had before. So we've got Sebastian, we've got Lucinda again, right? These are all the names that we had before, but it's a lot cleaner. And now I'm going to pipe that output and I'm going to grep for Sam account name. Awesome, we're doing really good here because I can see that I've got the Sam account name and I've got the, the name of the account that's in the Active Directory. But I wanna make a word list from this. So let's do one more step. 
We're gonna pipe it again. Awk. Print dollar two. And I'm gonna output it to a text file like so. And let's take a look at our output file. Beautiful. There are lots of useful Python scripts that you can find on GitHub. I'm gonna use one today called Win DAP Search. I'm gonna put the link to the GitHub in the description of this video, and here we are, we're gonna run it. Now this Python script is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is go to the GitHub, download it, and then run it. Essentially, I'm gonna tell it that the domain is http.local. You'll change that to whatever you're dealing with. The target is the IP of the domain controller. And then I'm specifically looking for an object class of person. Remember, we're trying to enumerate this uh, active directory here. Let's go ahead and run it. And right away, we can see some interesting things. We got Andy, we got Mark, Sebastian, all those names that we've been seeing uh, repeatedly. But just this is just another way, another tool to get the same job done. Our next tool is one that actually comes native on a lot of Linux operating systems. It's called RPC Client. You can actually use RPC Client to get into the target machine and then enumerate the domain, enumerate users. Extremely useful. Let's take a look. We know that our target is actually vulnerable to a, a null user. So we're going to actually use RPC Client and use a null login for it. User blank, our target IP address, and we're connected with the RPC Client. And the first one that I want to look at right away is enum. DOM users. Enumerate domain users. And we've got all of the users that are in this domain. So now I want to actually fig find all the information pertaining specifically to this account. So we need to remember 0x47b. And we're going to use another command that's baked into RPC client. And it is query user. And we're going to type 0x47b. And it gives us all of the information that pertains to SVC count. As you can see in this video, I did a lot of the same thing over and over again, that we can have multiple tools getting the same job done. So as our job as cyber professionals is to understand our tool set and know when and where to use it. Thanks for watching.